Hey guys, welcome back to Honest Try TV. As you can see, my kitchen's quite busy. I am making baby food. <laughs> so don't forget to like and subscribe, leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below, and let's get into it. So I made the mistake of going to Whole Foods Hungry, and 30 minutes later came out with tons of produce. Um, something that I'd like to highlight before I get started or the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. So as it's written here, the Dirty Dozen are um, the types of produce that have the highest amount of pesticide residue. So you wanna be careful when feeding these to your little one. If possible, you wanna make sure that you buy them organic. And here's the list. So we're gonna be focusing on kale, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Oh, and also here's the Clean 15, in case you're interested. So yeah, pesticides, something that you definitely want to take into consideration when you're cooking for your little one. Because um, you want to give them healthy stuff and it's hard when, you know, you're not confident that the food is chemical free. So for kale, we have tons of options here. I'm gonna start off with this banana avocado superfood smoothie. That looks like a good time. Um, and then from there, we'll check out some other options. Maybe some kale and fruit. I see one that's sweet potato kale. So yeah, let's try a couple of these. Now, um, I don't have all these ingredients, so I will be modifying the recipe a little bit. So just bear with me, <laughs> bear with me. All right, so let's do, oh, so many options, so many options. I'm trying to figure out what to try. I'm so excited, he only has two teeth. He's nine months old, two teeth. So we don't wanna to do too much. Um, but yeah, very excited to finally introduce him to food. All right, so let's start with the ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Let's do the sweet potato kale and zucchini puree. Now, I don't have any zucchini, but I do have okra. Mm. So I have Japanese sweet potatoes, I have kale and okra. So maybe we can do that kind of combination. So 99, let's scoot on over to 99. Now at his age, he should be having chunkier purees because we're trying to build up to um, we're trying to build up to finger foods. We're not quite there yet. Um, he's not a fan of finger foods. He doesn't like the idea of having to pick something up and put it in his mouth. I know it sounds crazy, but if it's food, he doesn't want to do it. If it's like anything else, cat hair, fuzz, napkin, absolutely, he's going to eat it. Food, you give him food, he's going to play with it and get it everywhere. Not one time will he put it in his mouth. I put it in his mouth and he's, even if he likes it, he won't make the connection and start doing it himself. He wants his food warm and on a spoon. So whatever, we're getting there, we're getting there. But he's also just turned nine months. So we've got time, we've got time. All right, so here we are. We've got the sweet potato, kale and zucchini puree. Now it calls for a bunch of pre-made purees, which I don't have. So we're gonna start from scratch here. So we have these Japanese sweet potatoes. Yay! So what I'm gonna do is wash this and then microwave it for eight minutes. I actually have one in the microwave right now for another recipe that I'm working on. Um, and then once it's cooked, I'll peel it and then we'll have our sweet potato. And I'm just gonna throw all this into a blender. Um, for the Okra. I'm gonna have to Google search that because they don't have any instructions for okra in this book and I'm not entirely sure how to steam that. I've never steamed okra before. Um, we always fry it. So, <laughs> in animal fat. I don't, I don't know how to do that. So that'll be an interesting challenge. And then let's see what it says for kale. So kale is on page 47. Let's see. Dark leafy greens, blah, blah, blah. 
blah, blah, blah. Good source of iron, folate, vitamin C, vitamin K, and vitamin A. Um, so we're going to cut away the stems and use only the leaves. So that's step one. Let me get my cutting board over here. Zoom out so you can see me. Put our sweet potato side for now. I went to Whole Foods, so these are organic. Ah, come on, friends. Come on off the bag. But yeah, I'm having a great time today, basically, just meal prepping for the month, honestly, because I, I just went so crazy buying food that there's going to be a tons for him to eat for a while. Tons and tons. I love cooking for my baby. I don't even like cooking, but I love cooking for him. When he eats something that I make, I, it's such a great sense of accomplishment. So I'm gonna just peel these off, and then what am I doing with them? No, oh, we're just gonna steam them for about five minutes. All right, so I'm gonna de-stem them and throw them in a bowl for now, and then we'll be back when we're ready to steam them. Just a second. Okay, I'm back and I'm done. I have a lot of kale over here. <laughs> Actually, it's not gonna be a lot by the time it like steams down. It's one of those vegetables that like, it looks like a lot until it's not. Actually, I think I'm gonna just done one more, throw it in here. So yeah, you're just gonna hold the stem and pull all your leaves off like so. Voila. Really quick. And you're done. All right, so we are going to now do what? <laughs> uh, in a medium saucepan with a steamer insert. Ah. Uh, hmm. All right. So you actually need a steamer. Just a second, because I happen to have one. I just got to grab it. Found it, da, 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 da. and then the base is over here. So I'm gonna dump my veggies in here. Here we go, friend. Whoops, a little bit of mess. And I'm gonna cover it up and steam it for 10 minutes. And then we'll be back to combine this with our sweet potato, which I'm getting ready to throw into the microwave after I wash it. And then we'll see what else we can mix in to make this interesting. All right, so I just need to pour water in the bottom, set this on top, and then we'll be back in 10 minutes. See you shortly. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you over just so you can see the setup. So we've got our kale in the top and the steamer, and in the bottom we have the water. So I've got that on high, and hopefully she'll be ready here soon. Bringing it back over here, let me wash my sweet potato real quick. And sweet potato is washed. She's sitting right there. This is trash. Goodbye, friends. Um, I just finished microwaving a sweet potato. So here's what the finished product will look like. It comes out the plastic bag. One, one. Voila. So, throw you in here. Wrap you up. And send you back to the microwave. Uh, eight minutes. Go. All right, so now that it's done, it's just easy, easy peasy to peel. Like, the skin just comes right on off. Just peel it like, like so, and we're done. So yeah, this is again for another recipe that I'm making with carrots and sweet potato. If you're interested, check that out on the channel. Otherwise, I'll be back once our kale and sweet potato are ready. See you in a second. Back. So I just finished steaming my kale and I'm gonna drop it in my blender here along with our sweet potato. 
I've got my little sous chef here to help me. If you can hear him chit-chatting in the background. He just woke up from his nap. All right, so our kale's all steamed and soft. I've got to make this sweet or he's not going to eat it. I mean, it doesn't have to be sweet, sweet, but it can't be, like, leafy greens are so healthy for you, but until you become mature, I don't think this is going to be very appealing to a kid's palate. It's just not going to like it. So, um, we're going to start with this as our base, and then we're going to go in with our sweet potato, Japanese sweet potato. Let me grab that out the microwave. And here we are. Yeah, baby. Gonna help mama cook you some food. You gonna taste test for me? I had him taste testing some of the um, recipes that I made earlier today. I got a green light on the carrots, sweet potato, and ginger puree. That's a go. He was not a fan of raspberries, probably because of the seeds. He just was not. He wasn't feeling that. Um, blueberries were okay, but not the skins. So I mashed it up and he was okay eating like, you know, the internal part. But yeah, the the, the, the um, skins, he was, he was not, he didn't, he didn't like that at all. So, it'll be interesting. I want to blend uh, raspberries <laughs> into I was actually going to blend raspberries into this recipe, but now I'm, I'm rethinking that strategy because I'm just like, hmm. I have to puree it enough that the, the seeds don't bother him. So, I don't know. I might just put blueberries instead. Or even watermelon. Something sweet but watery to help with the texture. I don't know. But anywho, here's our sweet potato. So we're gonna just bring you over here for just a second and then we're gonna drop this on in here. There we go. Boom. And I need to add some liquid to get this to puree down for me. So we're gonna go in with, this is about a half a cup of coconut milk. You all right? Okay. Half a cup of coconut milk to start. Um, and let's just see where this gets us. I'm not entirely sure here because again, the recipe that I'm using is based on an understanding that you've already made purees and you're just blending several different types of purees together. As opposed to, you know, starting out with the vegetables and then creating the puree all at once. So whatever, let's just give it a shot. I'm kind of top here. Here we go. Um, that might not be enough liquid. I don't know. Let's see where this gets us. Be right back. Okay, so here we are, and I need more liquid. Um, I've got kind of a spinach dip type texture in here. I'll even show it to you. Right? Spinach dip. That's not what we're going for. <laughs> He's not going to be able to eat that with his two teeth. So I need more liquid. So I'm going to go get some... Um, 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 um. Should we try the watermelon? Huh? What do you think? Watermelon? Yes! Clappy? Clappy? Clap? All right, watermelon it is. Let's see if we can chop some watermelon over here. I don't want to add just formula because that's not going to help us with the flavor profile at all. Let's clear this off. No one wants bland baby food, especially us. That's right. No bland baby food in this household. All right, let's let's crack open one of these boys. I don't think I have the right knife for this. I'm not going in a straight circle at all. <laughs> in a straight line at all. Like, I'm not slicing this well. But whatever. 
So this is a small seedless pineapple. So I'm gonna scoop out this, add it to our puree over here, and let's see if that gets us any better. All right, so let's see. Mommy's working on it, so I'm just going in here with a, um, let's see if I can show you, I'm going in here with a spoon. Yes, my love? Yes? Boom. And he's sitting in his high chair supervising. And there we go. Hopefully this will give us enough liquid and sweetness to overcome our challenges. All right. Let's see if that helps. Please help. All right. Yes? Yes? Okay. All right, hold your ears, get ready. Mama's gonna do it again. All right, and we're done. And I have the texture that I want, which is a smooth puree. I'm coming, sweetheart. Booyah. Now let's see if it tastes like anything. All right, please taste decent. Mmm. I think you're gonna like this. All right, Boo-Boo, let's do a taste test since you're sitting here. It's perfect. Like slightly sweet, but not too. And you don't get the bitterness of the kale coming through. I think we managed to pull this one off. So here we go. Kale, watermelon, and Japanese sweet potato. Let's try it and see if he'll eat it. Okay, pleased to announce that this one passed the baby taste test. He, in my taste test, I tell whether or not he likes something by whether or not he will voluntarily open his mouth for another bite, like five or more times. So if he goes, ma, you know, tongue out everything, like give me more, five or more times, then he likes it. If he does, if he blows raspberries, he doesn't want it. And he's going to spit it all over you if you try to force it in his mouth. So... This passed baby taste test and is officially a go. So again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. And to summarize, we took about two cups of chopped kale, one sweet potato, and what was that? Like maybe a cup's worth of watermelon? Meh. Half a cup worth of watermelon? You kind of have to eyeball that because the watermelon does add a lot of liquid. So you just have to be careful about your texture there. But yeah, that's that's it. And um, we also added um, a half a cup of coconut milk for smoothness and texture. So yeah, baby approves. We'll see you next time on Honest Try TV. Thanks so much for joining, guys. Bye.